Each week, the San Jose Flea Market brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Our Dan Harris joins us now with the story of a South Bay teen and what he's overcoming. Thanks, Kevin. Willow Glen senior Jonathan Martinez has been playing soccer since he was six years old. But one Sunday afternoon, he played in a game that would change his outlook on life. The score was three to nothing. The turf was hot and sticky. Santa Teresa sophomore defender Jonathan Martinez and his club team were looking for a spark. I just remember my coach telling me to go forward and I was like, I don't play forward. I'm an outside back, center back, sleeper. I ran into the guy, ends up kicking the ball right into my stomach or my bladder. The pain from the shot persisted for four days. Jonathan was forced to pull himself from practices and when the pain didn't go away, he broke down and went to the doctor. He's like, I'm going to call in the urologist to explain what's going on. And that's when I knew something was happening. And um, I was diagnosed with um, testicular cancer and cancer in the lymph nodes. The doctors told Jonathan he was stage 2B and his tumor was the size of a quarter. Three days later, Jonathan would undergo the first of two surgeries. My parents just told me, you know what, like you have to be strong. You have to, you can't just quit on yourself right now because this is going to, this, we're going to overcome this together. The cancer spread to Jonathan's lymph nodes. The 16-year-old began a rigorous regimen of chemotherapy. I lost my hair, all of it, my thick hair, and hair, all my facial hair, my eyebrows. I couldn't sleep, too much pain, it was, it was hard. It was, a, it was a difficult period of my, my life. Jonathan faced each challenge with strength and determination. He started researching his treatment and found solace reading about Lance Armstrong's battle with testicular cancer all the while waiting for the day when he could return to the field. I missed it a lot. I used to watch, I watched EPL, English Premier League, La Liga, España, and that's all I could do. I could only watch and play FIFA. I, I'm trying to visualize the hardest thing I've gone through as a young kid and, you know, can't even compare. That's not even worth mentioning. You see how he fought through that and keeps a positive attitude. He's got that will and that drive to succeed in everything he does now. As soon as Jonathan was strong enough, he was back on the field with his club team, very underweight, wearing a beanie to hide his bald head. I know the first ball I touched, I, I had a shot on goal and I shot it. I missed it. But it was just, I felt happy to be back. Two years after his battle, Jonathan is cancer free, a motivator and a leader for a Willow Glen team that made it all the way to the CCS championship, a game in which Jonathan scored a crucial goal. If we were losing a game 1-0 in halftime, like he just always got mad at us and like just screamed like, hey, Julio, come on. You're like one of the best fours I've ever seen. And, you know, that brought my hopes up. And, like, you know, second half, got to go and just, you know, try to do my best. The players would not be the same if it weren't for, for his presence, making sure, you know, his voice was heard and they heard the confidence and the tone of his voice, you know, it's it, it's always there. He's always pushing, you know, whether we were up or whether we're down, you know, he's always looking for more. And now the senior says his outlook on life is much clearer. Learn never to quit on myself, my teammates, my family, anybody. Um, never to quit in school. I wasn't really much into school my freshman year. I, I, I want to teach kids how to never quit on themselves, get my story out to them. That's my goal. As he continues to pursue that goal, Jonathan knows he owes it all to the game of soccer, a game that saved his life and showed him he can never quit on or off the field, even if his coach puts him in it forward. Jonathan says he's hoping to go to San Jose State University next year and possibly play there, but ultimately he wants to get a good job where he can give back like the community did for him when he was sick. Nice story. Outstanding. All right, thanks, Dan. Valentine Capital.